Don't get me wrong. If you want to consider a genocide as a systematic killing of a group of people, they have genocide built into Sharia law right now. So no, I'm not going to cry a fucking river when people who have genocide that's baked into their laws are getting genocided. I don't give a fuck. They're terrible people. It's not even a question. It's crazy that people don't see it that way. They'd be doing the same thing. Mm. How much did they kill? As many as they can. They're not able to kill as many people as Israel because they don't have as many bombs and as many weapons. But if they did, they'd be doing the same thing. That's it. Just takes enough. That's right. These people are not your allies. They are not the same as us. They come from an inferior culture that is horrible, it kills people for their identity, and it is directly antithetical to everything Western values stand for, and it is an inferior culture in all ways. It is that simple. No, I don't feel bad for them, I don't feel sorry for them, I don't care, I don't support them. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Asmon Gold, one of the biggest streamer, gamer back in the day and now, and movie reviewer or content commentator that is on the left-leaning platform called Twitch. And he decided to have an honest opinion. And now he's banned. But hey, he apologized looking back on it. I was way too much of an asshole about the Palestine thing. My bad. Of course, no one deserves to have their life destroyed, even if they do things or have views I find regressive. You guys deserve more than me saying stupid shit like that. I'll do better. And I believe they're banning him for a week. And if they make it permanent, I think I'll just go on kick. So Twitch wants to avoid hate speech, especially against a group that is a protective class, not inferior class. He said some extremely out of pocket stuff yesterday. And this guy is a friend of Asmon Gold, but also a friend of Hassan is on the other side. They seem to be on the opposite by the beam boom bash. The problem is he went on Hassan's stream, make a few jokes about I'm supporting this Muslim or not that Muslim. And Hassan gave him a reality check that some people might think how they're doing or celebrating certain stuff. They might be inferior in certain people's eyes. Yeah, like we took that fucking Saudi deal. You did? Oh yeah, me and XUC both. Oh, no. damn. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, we did. I'm sorry. I needed the money. Oh, you want to see a Houthi musical? Sure. These were the people that the Saudis were killing, by the way. Just so you know, these fucking musically gifted individuals. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I need the money. I'm so what is this? this is a three minute video of what do you mean a music video uh, when you said music video i'm expecting like bad example chris brown dancing you know no 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 they do like what is they this? do musicals they're very musical people <laughs> are no, you the, are the, you being serious Dog, what are you- look! You think I made this? This isn't I, I, I know they're singing, but I'm seeing just guns and shoot. This isn't a music video, Hassan. No, it is. They do musicals about, like, their fucking, uh, like, their, their, their actions all the time. And they love, they love walking over, they love walking over, like, the American flag and the Israeli flag side by side. They will always, like, march on it. I'm surprised they haven't done it yet. <laughs> They do not care about the heavy missiles. Like they yeah. will literally take the war to them no matter what. Um it's a it's an act of uh for them it's an act of resistance, you know what I mean? Oh for sure. Oh my god. Oh man. You know what? I also, I also, uh, I also took a McDonald's sponsor and I drink Starbucks. I'm sorry. Don't hate me.
Good job. So you can see, even though he is funny, I like his content, he has no idea about the jokes that he's making about specific culture, while Hassan is really supportive of the culture that is the protective class that can say the same thing about other people. But if you say it about them, it's a very bad thing, which is a weird analogy especially when Hassan is joining people supporting people that are literally doing specific bad stuff that makes no sense hey twitch support how can Asman gold get banned for calling out a culture which openly admits they value killing Jews over their own lives inferior but Hassan doesn't get banned for openly praising supporting and funding internationally recognized terrorists on stream Oh, and as I've been reminded, Hassan has openly advocated for Bada Bim Boom Bash, tried to directly get others to support both Hezbollah and Houthi gangster people, and made deletion remarks against Israel and Jews. Why is he not banned? I'm not saying it's okay to call it out. All I'm saying, if you just call out one side and you ban one side, people will be suspicious. It's like Twitch is going, we blocked his vision, he can't see again. America deserved 9-11, dude. F I'm saying it. We're there to partner with them. We're not there doing our own thing. We're there partnering and training. In a video and, and game. And, and, and Whew, that was close. Maybe Asmund Gold could have saved himself by also saying he meant it in a video game. Does that context make any sense? Hamas Spiker says America deserves 9-11. Futures a Houthi gangster person on his stream and praise him for what he is doing. Wishing deletion on all mushroom people. And even agrees with... Houthi slogans? Allah is the greatest, that to that, that to that, curse that, victory to... Okay. And he doesn't get banned, so I can assume they approve of this message? Don't you feel like it's a bit unfair for you to attribute every instance of bigotry and bad behavior to being the West's fault? At what no, point I think are... I have a very realistic, uh, I have a very realistic and materialist analysis of these sorts of things where I think mm -hmm. that uh, people don't have time to fight for gay liberation when, like I said, they're too busy trying to literally rebuild their homes after it's bombed, especially by a force that, you know, doesn't have like automatic heat seeking missiles that uh, avoid gay people. You know what I mean? They're killing gay people and trans people in, in Gaza every fucking day. Like there is no... Like, gay liberation is not a real conversation here. It's just a mere talking point that a lot of people who defend Israel, not saying you do, but a lot of people who defend Israel try mm -hmm. to repackage Israel's violence and contextualize it and make it seem more appropriate to an American audience that is uh, sometimes pro-gay and pro-queer. It rarely ever yeah. works. A lot of queer people still don't give a shit. They're like, I don't care. Just stop killing these people is their, is their attitude. Oh, yeah. So I think... A lot of people with that mindset decided to go there to support them and they don't live anymore. What started out as a robbery crew, upwards of 50 robberies, 20 individuals arrested for upwards of 50 robberies with and out of those 20 individuals, every single one of them is on the streets today. So That's crazy. Now, there are reports that they're operating the Roosevelt Hotel which used to be a very nice hotel in New York City. Now it's a migrant shelter. How, what, what are we talking about? What's going in, on inside this hotel that is now spilling out into the Times Square area? Yeah, I mean, there's actually a recruitment process. And, this and it makes you wonder, where do they get all these people to join the gang? Very simple. Shelters. It's actually a subset of a gang, Trende Aragua, which we've heard so much about. Uh, they call themselves Los Diablos de la 42 crew. Standing, mm -hmm. uh, in other words, the little devils of 42nd Street. So these are individuals that hover in and around 42nd Street. Mm -hmm. um, they're basically a robbery crew, you know, and they've gone in and around Central Park, in and around Times Square, and we like them for committing upwards of 22 robberies. And they range. They range anywhere from snatches to wolf pack type robberies. When I talk wolf pack type robberies, I'm talking anywhere between four and upwards of 16 individuals mm -hmm. surrounding soft targets, tourists, and taking them of, of their possessions. And weapons used, knives to upwards of guns. Yeah. 
I mean, as disturbing as those crimes are, the ages yeah. are just as disturbing. How young are some of these gang members? Yeah, I mean, we think individuals are being recruited in the shelters. Um, they're working around bail and raise the age laws, so they're using younger individuals to commit those crimes. But we've arrested individuals as young as 11. I'm going to be honest. If the police have arrested you so many times and you use a Spanish gang name and they can say the Spanish gang name with the proper accent. Trende Aragua, which Los Diablos de la 42 crew. Stand Maybe they're arresting you too much. So my agenda, well, first of all, on the point of reparations, I, it has to be studied. There's no question about that. And I've been very clear about that position. In terms of my immediate plan, I will tell you a few of the following. One, as it relates to the economy, which is a lot of what you have addressed. Look, I grew up in the middle class. Yes! My mother, you know, worked hard, raised me and my sister. And by the time I was in high school, she was able to afford our first home. I know what it means for an individual and a family to have home ownership. I also know in the context of history, nobody got 40 acres and a mule. My issue is this. We're not even sure if you're Indian or black, which also means if you want to give people reparation, who are you talking about? Is it black people or brown people? I think there's going to be like a weird bait and switch. It would not surprise me. And while you're going to give reparation, are you going to find all those kids that have been lost that came over the border that you can't even find? The human trafficking? No, you're not focused on that because they cannot vote. And I need to add this. Why the heck are you focusing on helping the middle class when you're using the money from the middle class to give to other people? It's like you're telling somebody, I'm going to give you money, but I'm going to tax you even more to help the people that you never voted for. Do you think that Trump should go to jail? Hell nah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? We all break the law sometimes. It's all right. He ain't hurt nobody. Free that man. Yeah. I'm all for Trump, man. So you're saying Trump 2024? 2024. All day. All day. See? All day. See? Why? <laughs> to me, it's not really a Trump thing. It's just that, you know, the Republican point of views just fit me a little better. Do you think that the trials are making them more popular? This is all part of the plan. Yeah. All propaganda and bullshit. They're all friends like the WWF. Trump, Biden, Obama. They're all friends. This ain't nothing but a series. You get a chance to write, direct, produce, and star in your own episode of life. I'm for the Trump point of views because, I mean, to me, he's just a businessman. Everybody that talk against him, talking personal. Nobody's even talking politics. I think he's a pretty good politician because he's not a politician. He might be a narcissist. And as far as that racist shit, everybody got motherfuckers they can't stand. And to be honest, he can't stand the same type of motherfuckers they can't stand. And they're not black. They're not white. They're not Hispanic. He can't stand bitches and niggas. It's four kind of people on this planet. Four kind of adults. Men, women, bitches, and niggas. And every race has them. He's not really down with the bitches and niggas. I'm tired of them too. And when he was here, nobody was out fighting the war. Him and Dennis Rodman killed the shit with the dude in North Korea. Kim Jong-un. He was the first president to go to North Korea. Everybody was getting money. Yeah. Shit was cool. I'm Mr. Nobody and I was balling. You know what I'm saying? Shit was cool under yeah. his watch. He was real. He was doing his job. And what I liked about him the most is the things that regular people hate about him the most. He was real. He told you how he felt. He could have lied like the other politicians just to make you like him. One thing about him, you know what you're dealing with. You heard it here first. <laughs> That's why I like Trump. I know he's a narcissist, but hey, Trump is a type of player that I played with in games that usually reminds me how bad I am at the game and what I'm doing wrong and bada beam boom bash. But when he told me he's going to do a specific thing to cover my back, I always can trust him. You show up to the office once a month, and you say, let's see, flip a coin. And everybody talks about you like you're a god. Oh, what will he do? I mean, before, the guy used to walk into my office, he was like begging, oh, he was, a, he was fine. But you did, you did talk you know, about, he was, you talked about removing him once. I did because uh, he was keeping the rates too high. Yeah. And I was right. Well, what does the Wall Street Journal know? They've been wrong about everything. So have you, by the way. <laughs> You've been wrong about you're it. trying to turn this. You're trying to turn this. You've been wrong. About no, you're trying to turn. You're trying to turn this into debate. A, there are it's business not a people. There no, are but business you're wrong. People. You've been wrong. You've been wrong all your life on this stuff. We're going to put tariffs on them, and they're going to do. And you know what they can do? The Mercedes Benz will start building in the United States, and they have a little bit. But you know what they really are? Assembly, like in South Carolina. But they build everything in Germany, and then they assemble it here. They get away with murder because they say, oh, yes, we're building cars. They don't build cars.
they take them out of a box and they assemble them. We could have our child do it. We, tariffs also have another side. Isn't that something that you have to acknowledge? No. You could be plunging America into the biggest trade war no. since smooth hauling. But there are no you're gonna, tariffs. You're gonna... They're used as negotiating tactics. Look, tariffs will come down there. We're not going to have super high tariffs here either. There's not going to be a big pot of money at the end of the day. I, I, I love that story. So which is it? Do we yeah. make a lot of money on tariffs or yeah. we, we bring we uh, here. productivity here right. and we drive up our, our workers here? We rebuilt their economy using something called the Marshall Plan. Yeah. Our economy is so awesome that we'll use it to help you rebuild. When should that have ended? What do you think, 1980? Right? 1985? I mean, why 40 years? I've added that for just a little context. I don't know. They're going to find a reason why you can't tariff them, but they can tariff you. Stop. You're gonna, there are tariffs already. No, there are no tariffs. All you have to do is build your plant in the United States and you don't have any tariffs. But people, this there are a lot of I'm places, a lot of places like this. How about this? Gavin Newsom, he's the governor of California. Newsom. He signed Newsom, I call him. Yeah. Uh, but do you, uh, but people, there are a lot of places, a lot of places like this. How about this? Gavin Newsom, he's the governor of California. Newsom. Newsom. Okay, I, 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 um, I didn't expect that. He signed Newsom, I call him. Yeah. Uh, but do you, oh, do you he, think... No, he corrected, he corrected me. Said, there are, there are That's the first time I've there, been corrected. There are CEOs out here. If they were, said those sort of things about a rival CEO, they would be, they'd know. be sacked. Do you think I it's know, fine for a president? but they don't have to survive like me. They don't have to go through the, what I have to go through. I, there has never been a president that's been treated like me, so I have to fight my own way. Well, you made a... You made a and I mean, he's right. There's never been a president that had to go through so many mumbo jumbo. They tried to assassinate him possibly more than three times. He got his ear chopped off by a bullet. So yeah, I don't think. And he went to freaking North Korea, man. Don't get me wrong. My boss a guitar bong. Put the fire na mi blonde kush hash purple skunk. Kriyo yo golombi chi jam jam. Dur lo ke ta verde ta welcome.